Good morning, everyone. My name is Evan Swinehart, and I was the Faith Doing Justice intern last year. Now I'm currently a in part of the Jesuit Volunteer Corps in Nashville, Tennessee. Today we will talk about the option for the poor and vulnerable. As Catholics, we follow the example of Jesus who identified with the poor and the vulnerable. He reminds us throughout the gospel that some people's needs are so urgent and so great that their needs come first. Therefore, while everyone is abhorrent, those who, whose voice in our society is ignored, those whose human rights are violated, those whose dignity is not recognized must take our first priority. When we enter into the lives and the struggles of the poor and vulnerable, we experience Jesus' presence in a real and powerful way. Now, I want us to reflect on one of my favorite gospel passages, Matthew 25, 34 through 40. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me. Naked, and you clothed me. Ill, and you cared for me. In prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Now, take a moment to think about how the issues of addiction, mental health, health care, and food access relate to the option for the poor and vulnerable as you reflect on these two questions. Who are Jesus' least brothers and sisters in your community and around the world today? And how does Jesus' own poverty and the witness of his encounter with the other challenge you. Also, please take a moment to sign the pledge to commit to honoring human dignity through civil conversation. This is a great action to take during this election season, and please go out the vote if you're able to do so. Now, let us end in prayer. God of justice and compassion, we ask forgiveness for the whining gulf between the rich and the poor, for the use of money as a measure of all things, for the culture of self-gratification, for the continuing disparities between those that have so much and those who have so little, and for the suffering of those people who are excluded from the table of abundance. Forgive us for our focus on material goods and our part in the worship of economic growth. In a world where resources are limited and where we are already using more than our fair share, forgive us for going along with what is easy, for failing to come to grips with the problems of change and to engage in the complexity of social issues. Fill us with a living faith that we may become lively seeds of your kingdom, continually growing in your way of love, instruments of personal and social re reconciliation, vehicles for a new dawn who, wherein those in poverty are welcomed to the table where compassion and justice meet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask this through Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Thank you.